On Saturday, April 13th at Chase Field, a high school exhibition match between Corona Del Sol High School and Desert Vista High School was played for the first annual Baseball Day Arizona. These two teams were fierce in competition and the game was very intense, and this was all broadcasted for Fox Sports 1. On camera, the two announcers calling the game were Steve Berthume and Diamondbacks legend Luis Gonzalez. Starting with Berthume, Cronkite 305 News got the chance to talk to him about the challenges of broadcasting a high school baseball game as opposed to the major leagues. Preparing for the high school game is tricky because there's not a lot of information. Um, you have to make sure that the stats are accurate. We don't try to make it not too stat heavy, more about the kids. What are their parents' names? What do they like to do? They like to play video games or they like to watch movies or they have a particular favorite baseball player. That stuff I find is really interesting and much more fun to talk about over the course of the game. So researching those types of fun things is a lot different than looking up numbers for a major league game. Perfume is a seasoned veteran in broadcasting sports games with over 30 years of experience in gathering more knowledge every step of the way. As for Gonzalez, he was a player for the Diamondbacks and possibly owns one of the franchise's most historic hits. The chance of a lifetime for Luis Gonzalez. 2-2, two -two, bottom of the ninth, game seven of the World Series. Bases loaded. Florida, Nowadays, with Gonzalez up in the broadcaster's booth, he serves as the color commentator and adds to what Berthium is saying, and that is vital to a successful broadcast. Just being a former player gives a different perspective to the fans at home. Um, it's, it's not just the, uh, you know, the analyzing the, the players and things like that. I give um, a different perspective because I was down there on the field, and sometimes you may... Um, want to talk about what a player's thinking about or just as what I did when I was on the field. And I think uh, a lot of fans like that um, because uh, they get to see what's, what's in the player's mind and what they're thinking about in certain situations. Not a trained broadcaster by trade, Gonzalez has been in the booth for quite some time now. Just like anything, practice makes perfect for Gonzalez because when he was on the field, his stats were the last thing on his mind. His journey to the booth isn't the grind you would see with Berthume, but it is just as challenging, if not more. When I was still playing, uh, right after the World Series, I got asked to fill in in uh, a national telecast game. So it wasn't like I just dipped my toe in the water, they kind of pushed me in to the ocean and uh, got to do it with uh, Joe Buck and Tim McCarver on a national broadcast. Coming into the booth in 2001 and retiring in 2008, Gonzalez's juggling act of broadcasting and playing is quite amazing. Of course, with constant practice, Gonzalez learns new things about the craft every day. There's still, every day, I learn something different, something new. Um, the thing for, for me is you try to do your homework and try to learn a lot about players and different things like that. It's a little bit more difficult when you're talking about high school guys because there's not that much information out there. But uh, now with social media and all the different things that are happening, um, you're able to keep track of a lot of these players a little bit better. While at Baseball Day Arizona, Gonzalez's philosophy of doing your homework pays off and resulted in a fantastic broadcast. As stated before, it is hard to find things to talk about when there isn't much information on the players, but for Gonzalez, he went above and beyond to get his homework an A+. For us, um, you know, it was a little bit challenging, but uh, fortunately, these two teams played against each other earlier in the week, so I had the opportunity to go out there on Tuesday and, and see them play, got to speak to both of the coaches and, and some of the players. So you, for us, it's a, it's a chance to get to know them a little bit better on a one-on-one -on -one basis. And, and not only that, uh, you know, in the major leagues, you, get, you have so much information that you can get on these players. And what we're trying to do here now is trying to uh, get a lot of info on, on, their, on the players, where they're committed to and things like that, these high school guys. Um, fast for, for this special day that we're having here in Arizona. Doing homework allows for Gonzalez to have as much information as possible at his disposal. Any ounce of information that can improve a broadcast by even the slightest amount is worth it. While the broadcaster's booth is plenty entertaining, Gonzalez is always a ball player at heart and would give anything to go back to that 2001 hit and play some more ball. No, I'd rather be down on the field, to be honest with you, but, but having the, the chance to come up here and still be around the game and to be around people that I enjoy coming around and being a part of, uh, uh, you know, around baseball and around the stadium, it's, it's pretty special.